Hi guys and welcome. Today on ATPL Theory we're going to be talking about weights for mass and balance calculations. So you may see various weights uh, listed as a weight or as a mass. Weight is mass times gravity. That's from a physics perspective. From an ATPL perspective, whether you see weight or mass, don't worry about it. Consider them to be the same thing. I've written them all down as weights. However, you could see them written down as mass. For example, basic empty weight or basic empty mass. So let's start at the top. Basic empty weight. The basic empty weight is the weight of the aircraft with a small percentage of fluids that cannot be uh, removed. And this is something that the manufacturer will give us and that will be in the paperwork of the aircraft. Next, we add the crew and equipment. Uh, this is sometimes called the variable load. That gives us the dry operating weight. That essentially means the aircraft is ready to operate except for the traffic load and the fuel. Now continuing down straight, if we add the useful load, we will get to the takeoff weight. Now the useful load can be broken down into two sections. We can go either left or right. If we add the traffic load, i.e. passengers, cargo, mail, anything like that, we will get the zero fuel weight. We have no fuel on board yet. So we are ready to go, but we have no fuel. Then if we add the takeoff fuel, we will get back to our takeoff weight. If we go the other way, if we add takeoff weight, we will get to an operating weight, i.e. we are ready to operate, but we have no traffic load, no passengers, no cargo. And then if we add that traffic load, we will get back to our takeoff weight. Now, from our takeoff weight, we can go two ways. From our takeoff weight, which is our weight lined up on the runway, ready to take off, we can subtract our trip fuel and we will get to our landing weight. Or we can subtract our start and taxi fuel and get back to the ramp weight. As you can see, I've put a little green box around the most important ones, which would be the basic empty weight, dry operating weight, takeoff weight, zero fuel and landing weight. Now the takeoff weight of the aircraft can essentially be broken down into two sections. We have a maximum performance and a maximum structural takeoff weight. So our takeoff weight has to be the lesser of the maximum landing weight, that's a structural, the maximum takeoff weight, another structural, or the maximum zero fuel weight. And there are three structural constraints that we have there. So of course the takeoff weight cannot be greater than the smallest of those three. RTO stands for regulatory takeoff weight, uh, which is essentially the lesser of the structural and performance related takeoff weights. Regulatory takeoff weight takes into account environmental factors, flap settings, runway conditions. So essentially the lesser of all these will be our maximum allowable takeoff weight. So for your ATPL questions, memorize the table and then all you need to do in your questions is add or subtract whatever you're being told, follow the flow and work out your takeoff weights. Hope that chart helps you guys. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. All the best, till next time.